1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy, does not brag, is not proud, doesn't behave itself inappropriately, doesn't seek its own way, is not provoked, takes no account of evil. Love doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that if I'm rooted in you, the fruit of love will manifest. The fullness of love is found in your spirit. So I pray you would anoint me in abundance. God, I want my character to be formed by you so that I may live effectively for your kingdom. God, root in me love and anchor me in truth and send me out with boldness. I trust you to transform me from the inside out as an agent of love and change in a world of darkness and hatred. I pray all this in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on love and kindness. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is on love and kindness. I hope you'll slow down, maybe take a moment to center yourself, get in a relaxed place, a place where you can let your mind take in who Christ is and reflect on Him. Now turn that heart toward God. Allow your mind to reach out to the presence of the Lord and prepare your heart to be filled with His Word. We're going to be meditating on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4-7 through 7, from the World English Bible. Love is patient and is kind. Love does not envy. Love doesn't brag, is not proud doesn't behave itself inappropriately. Love doesn't seek its own way, is not provoked, and takes no account of evil. Doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Take a moment and let your worship rise up to God. God, I praise you for loving me this way. I adore you for your love is unending and unmeasurable. I praise you for you are not arrogant and your anger is not easily provoked. God, I give you my adoration for you alone have overcome iniquity. And truth is only found in you. I adore you, God, for your love surpasses all things and endures through all of time. You know, to live this way, to possess these qualities can seem pretty much impossible. A lot of trials and tribulations can make you feel overwhelmed and overcome. Temptation and trouble seem to be in every corner. It can almost seem inconceivable to live and to love in this kind of freedom. However, improbable it may feel, this love is possible. I want you to think for a moment on what's preventing you from loving in this manner. Confess those areas of weariness, maybe weakness, to the Holy Spirit. Share with Him your pains and predicaments right now. Reach out to Him for the reassurance and reinforcement of His love. Now I want you to consider all the times that God loved you this way, in spite of everything, and thank Him for it. Thank the Lord for his kindness 
and long-suffering towards you. Thank God that his love is not conceited or selfish. Thank him for not keeping a record of your wrongdoing. I hope you'll give thanks to God for all the times in the past where he made you righteous. For those times when he filled you with joy and truth. Thank him that his love will never change and he will never withhold it from you. And never forget that God is present and that he's listening to you. Hope you'll come before him and ask him to fill your heart with his love. To give you the ability to love others as he loves you. That's hard to do. Ask God to remove your vanity and selfishness. Ask him to guard your heart from arrogance and pride. Ask the Holy Spirit to empower you and to control you over envy, to not be boastful or self-satisfied. And ask God to teach you to find joy in righteousness and to rejoice in the truth. Ask God for a love that will bear all things, believe all things, a love that will hope for all things and endure all things. Ask God to give you all of who he is. And remember, God has called you to love in its truest form. A love that's all-encompassing and all-consuming. A love that transcends time and space and goes beyond all that you could imagine. God wants you to experience this kind of love today and always. So live boldly and don't fear what is to come. God's love is perfect and he will always be with you and he will see you through thanks for completing today's meditative prayer on pray.com by incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice you're making prayer a priority and strengthening your walk with god hey and maybe god has gifted you with a heart to help others people often come to you asking for prayer maybe direction in their everyday life If so, I hope you'll consider being a part of our Mental Health Coach First Responder Program. You can enroll right now and begin to study to become a board-certified mental health coach. Everything you need to know about this 42-hour training program featuring some of the world's leading mental health and ministry experts is up at lightuniversity.com, lightuniversity.com forward slash mental health coach. Best news, right now we're offering a full $2,400 scholarship, a Pray.com scholarship for someone just like you. I'm Dr. Tim Clinton, president of the American Association of Christian Counselors. We love being a part of your life.